guys, so I checked the nest for the baby birds and they're not in there. So I told my mom and she said to come look outside. I was about to give up. But then I found this little guy. He's trying to run away. I'm trying to see if there's any more. I'm just scared that they're gonna get eaten by snakes. Um, it looks like he damaged his wing or something. Maybe not, but he's running away. So I only see this guy, but he's super cute. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today is freezing cold. It's actually cold out today. I love that, though. I love the weather. I love it when it's like hot, 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 and then you have a nice cool day. You can probably like that, too. Uh, breaks it up. Anyway, welcome to today. The funniest thing just happened at our house. If Sophie's getting breakfast, some yummy avocados. I don't know. <laughs> they hate avocados. They're bitter. No, they're so good. Sophie's eating. Sophie's getting breakfast. Uh, Gabby's working on homeschool. Sam is working on his work. What are you working on, Sam? Metal detector squad. So all of a sudden, I hear this crazy conversation happen. This Sam conversation. Sam says, all of the blue. Sam says, oh, tell them what you said, Sam. Went on my metal detecting group. Found a jar of honey buried under the ground. It was 200 year old honey. Two year old honey. 200 year old honey. 200 year old honey. And that might sound amazing to you, but what our response was, Gabby and I, we both said the exact same thing at the same time. We said, <laughs> we said, you have a metal detecting group? <laughs> no, you sounded like a problem. I'm like, oh, you have a metal detecting group? And I'm like, you have a metal detecting group? <laughs> Marry you a nerd, you guys. Marry you a nerd. Marry you a nerd. Because one day that nerd is going to be finding jars of 200 year old honey in the ground and you be rich. So to be honest though, I love that Sam has hobbies and things outside of us. There was a time when we had three sons, no daughters, and I was the one always left out of everything and I had all my own things to do and it was lonely and it was sad, but at least he has something. Pick yourself out a metal detector and the girls and I will buy it for you for Father's we Day. Did that for, and then we did oh, a challenge. I love that. All right, I kind of like that. No. Would you want to do metal detecting? Uh, I just find it. You guys dig up what I find. Yeah, that, that sounds good. <laughs> so he finds it when we dig it up? Um, wait. I okay. Take turns using it? Yeah, because they're, they're $200. No, we didn't have a metal You should find my horse's <laughs> shoes in the field. Pick a good one, Sam. Find, find a good one on Amazon and I'll buy it. Comment below, you guys, if you have a hobby or something that you like that isn't mainstream, that not most people are into, and tell me what it is, because I believe in that. I believe in doing what you love, what you like, being who you are, and if that means metal detecting, go for it. When you're able to do things that you love and things that give you peace and happiness and make you a better person, a happier person, and it makes you more fun to be around, and I support Sam doing the things that he likes, and I support us supporting him the way he supports us with our horses. I just want you guys to know our snakes are back. Do you see any in there? I was pulling weeds out of the garden. <laughs> Where is it? Oh my gosh. Sophie's, oh, Sophie's right over there. I put my hand over there. That's the problem. I was looking I for want it. a nice garden. Yeah, Sophie's looking for him and I find him. <laughs> you guys could have probably heard me from Australia. Oh, that's the problem. I want a nice garden, but I can't get the weeds out if there be snakes. So that's the one. He just scared the heck out of me. It's a baby. I wish he'd stop having babies. I mean, you can step on it, squish its head. Oops. No, I do not believe in murdering of any species. Yeah. That was, that just almost ran right over my hand. And I, one I screamed. Horses couldn't have cared less though. They'd just be standing out there eating away. Penny didn't come try and rescue me. Look at our wildflower field. Isn't it pretty? Come on, Pen. Come here, sweet princess girl. Good girl. Yeah. Look at my horse. She just comes right to me. She just comes right to her. She just comes right to her. You guys remember how much trouble we used to have? Good girls. 
No treats even. So yeah, we've mastered that. Like that's amazing. And then I'm gonna show you guys my. my so look at this girl. She's still in great shape. This girl's still in good shape. This girl's still in great shape, and they're on grass for most of the day. All right. And he's like, do I have to? <laughs> Penny also is, you know, my baby, Bryce is giving me really good support. Whoa. I touched you, you're fine. <laughs> she says, I'm not used to you touching me. She spooked. Sometimes when they're in heat, they're a little more spooky than normal too. She's like, where's my treat? I don't have a treat, but I'll go get you one. Looks like you've been rolling in the dust. So you guys remember like when we first started with horses and we were trying to figure out the grass and the, and the not getting too chubby and stuff. There are a lot of things that we contemplated. One was like in the past we've never been able to put the willow on grass. We put her on grass last summer for a short time she got so chubby. Well this year we went simple. So this year we just went simple and we just traded their breakfast, like we just stayed with the exact same schedule. We feed them breakfast and lunch out on the grass. We bring them back in and they have a little bit of time off the grass and they love it actually. You guys saw, they just came to us. They always know when they're ready. This is my feet. They always know when they're ready to get off the grass. It's very comfy. Wow, I'm impressed you got up there. <laughs> yeah, I no, love it. Yo, it's me! <laughs> Don't grab my belt. <laughs> And suddenly Gabby's got a broken hip. Okay, enough. 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 Let's just all sit on her. Punch me in the tooth. Yeah, so we don't be punching people in the tooth. We're gonna protect our queen of the castle seat. <laughs> um, okay, so Gabby, uh, comment below who, who, what shirt Gabby's wearing? Like, what company made this amazing equestrian forever shirt? And also. Who gave us this belt? Do you guys know? Cute belt. That's a hard one. Cute belt. Gabby got it for her birthday. Hey, our hole punch is here. Do you want to punch another hole in it? Yeah. Yeah. She wants to wear it for riding, but she needs a little bit tighter. Uh -huh. All right. Well, let's do it. Super cute. Yeah, if you like my chair, you should try and get on. Yeah. I, I don't need to get on the queen of the castle chair because I am the queen of the oh, castle. Oh, I could go higher on this. So I want to give Penny a treat because she came to me. She always comes to me and I always want to like reinforce that oh, with... Thank you for coming. I know not everybody believes in treats, but I do. I believe in treats. I believe in them for my puppies. I believe in them for my horses. I believe in them for my children. I believe in making positive experiences instead of just do what I say and that's it. There you go. That's for you, yeah. Now that we brought them in, it's not hot out today, but now that we've actually brought them in, they all take this opportunity to have a nice nap. Here, Gracie girl. I brushed her yesterday. She was all beautiful. And then now, look it. Kebby, you still, this horse is still shedding, like majorly. And I brushed her all completely yesterday. Head to, to feet. Oh my goodness. You're a spotted girl now. Hive. All right, what's the competition? You can get the pony to jump the highest. Oh my goodness. No, no, no. People be killing us if we she, jump our ponies. She maxes out at 2.9 if she even jumps Willa it. jumps three foot. And Willa jumps three foot trotting. But fails, but still does it again after. Well, that's funny. All right. So yesterday was our first time having friends at the barn again, and it was awesome. And we celebrated by having fun but and jumping a three, 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 three six, six oxer. How'd you feel about that, Gabby? How'd you feel about it? Eh. No, did you like doing it? Yeah, my horse didn't really jump it though. What it's do you not mean? Like two foot three. Yeah, he didn't. He doesn't. He doesn't really care that much, did he? He did not. Um, it's anyway. also like, oh my god, it's finally going higher. So it was fun. It was fun for us. And every time I post like any video, I'm always thinking like, okay, how's this going to come across? Never in my wildest dreams did I ever think that people were going to freak out the way they did. Not everybody freaked out, but I understand. It was a total miscommunication. People were assuming that because our trainer was talking, to, joking and talking about something in a previous lesson that she told us not to jump our horse high and that was not the case at all and it was funny like I started reading the comments I'm like what the heck what are they talking about and then I sent a message to my trainer and I said did you tell us that we shouldn't jump any higher than 
two, three or two, six or whatever. And she said, no, why would you think that? And I'm like, well, everybody thinks that. And she said, no, I said, you shouldn't jump big too often. And I'm like, yeah, we already know that. Like we would never do that. And she said, yeah, no, I have no idea why they are saying that. And, and it's true, like in the video, previously, a few days before that, our trainer said, we were joking about a jump, the jump was backwards. And I was joking, saying, come on, she can jump it anyways, just joking. And she said, no, we would not, like, I don't want to kill him, blah, blah, blah. And then she did say, you know, we're in a lesson, he only needs to jump this high for his yeah, thing, so we're, we're, this is what we're jumping. And she, she wasn't like being serious, she wasn't saying, this is, oh, he's allowed to jump, it was nothing like that. It was so shocking when a couple days later she jumped bigger in our own private time, not in the lesson, and our, our trainer knew we were jumping and had no problem with that, and it just was a miscommunication. Like, people assumed she meant one thing, and most of what she was even saying in that lesson was joking because I was joking with her about him jumping a jump that was set up backwards. The first jump was higher than the other one. I don't know, it was just a big mix up. But guys, and our trainers are close friends of ours. And also, we hire our trainers to come and guide us and help us with the things that we ask them for. And that's what they do. And if we have any questions, they can always answer for us but there are horses we are responsible they don't make decisions like what we can do with them or what we can't do with them if i have concerns or if i have questions i will ask them and i do that a lot and most of the time we don't do anything with our horses without checking with them first chino is compl was completely capable of the jump yesterday and he's even done that jump with our trainers before Anyways, I'm sorry about the miscommunication. I know a lot of you guys are just out there for our best interest and thought that something was happening that our trainers were disapproving of. I have a video idea. Okay, what is it? Making a fort out of shavings. I already have it all figured out. Okay, right, let's go see it. Oh my gosh. How tall are you, Gabby? Five, five. Five, five. Woohoo! <laughs> Gabby's like, it's been five, five for a year and a half now. A year and a half? About, yeah, about a year and a half. Yeah, and she's like, I am never growing up. Okay, so these are more than I use. No, which is weird because I live in a family with a bunch of tall people. Yeah. I'm like the shortest, second shortest. She's the shortest. Yeah, Sylvie ever just ever started ever. her growing now. She just started to grow, and I was growing when I was a child. <laughs> so I stopped growing too early. Now I sometimes worry about like how you just say things, but you don't mean it one way, and people take misunderstand, and they take it another way, and then... It just gets so confusing. All right, you build this no, no, and we'll no. come back. When I was a freaking child, I was like that much taller than everybody else. Though. Yeah, like, oh, Except you... for this one person that was that much taller than me. Mm -hmm. But I was always that much taller than everybody else. Yeah. And then I stopped yeah. growing too early. Back to back, Sophie, back to back. Back to back. Oh my, it is happening. Her shoulders are still... Her, her legs are still not nearly as tall as yours. Well, maybe. I have long legs. But she's almost up there. She's at the top of your ponytail. Oh, that's short. Well, she's getting so there. So I thought I was gonna build a roof. I need we could a build horse a, blanket. We could build a whole new we paddock. We could build a whole new paddock for, for oh. Willow. Or we could build a stall yeah. for Daisy. So I'm still working on our garden. It looks a little bit of a mess. This is the first year for the garden. It won't be as pretty this year, but that's okay. All right, I'm coming in. Coming. Woo! I like it. Daisy, that's for you. I'm trying to get her to go in. Look at that big bad boy. Okay, I'm gonna go just like mine. And it's not gonna go in it. That's our fort, you guys. That's our that's our shavings oh, yeah. bed. Oh, look at this one's broken. Yeah, yeah, broken. Uh oh. Let's just throw it in penny stall. <laughs> I love that. And this is the door. Can you close it? Super. And then, if you want your super dog cool to have some view, you open can remove this the lid. Mm, nice. Lucky girl, you guys were just joking. This is not really her bed. So what happened? Gabby went on a scavenger hunt to see if there's another gate. We have this gate here, but we want to open the other door in the arena. 
and dad and Sam said there's a gate over there. The May holiday, Queen Elizabeth's birthday in Canada is our main planting day. It's our pool opening day. Oh, it's like our our main summer. We just missed it. You guys, you know, the long weekend. That's we just, long weekend? Yeah. Yeah, it was Victoria Day. So, Queen Victoria, not Elizabeth. Oh, Queen Victoria. Did I say Queen Elizabeth? Yeah. Well, that's going back. Anyways, so <laughs> we replay. Uh, Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, uh, it's a good thing I have Gabby to keep me straight. Yeah, if it's Queen Elizabeth Day, then why is it Queen Victoria? Yeah, Queen Victoria, Victoria Day. But anyways, you guys probably catch me in mistakes all the time. But anyways, so... Uh, we got the garden done. What else did we do? Oh, we got the arena done. We got the garden done. The arena's mostly done. We have somebody coming to to level it better. The only thing we didn't get done was this. Sam's gonna have to come in here with his giant tractor and cut the grass. So, it's beautiful. Empty. Yeah, I'll get some stuff and we can ah, clean this up. We can just- a bug. We can just uh, sweep it. Do you want me to go get something you can sweep it? No. We can start, we can start filling this sucker. So all we have to do is cut grass. We're in there and then we jumped in here. Yeah. I'm excited to see what Penny thinks of it. Do you guys remember that video? Uh, where we were. Here and they were running up and down. Yeah, the boys were out in the field and they were like, what's happening? Well, we thought Chino was lame, but he wasn't. It was just the grass. Yeah. And yeah, so anyways. This is coffee, Gabby. You always can tell if Gabby has had coffee by how much she talks. I love it. Anyways, so that is the agenda for this weekend. Tomorrow is Friday, this weekend. We plan to fill this pool, clean it out, fill it, and cut the grass, and then be able to swim. Daisy learned, or Molly learned to swim in this pool. Do you remember? Yeah. Yeah, she loves swimming. Water. She oh loves swimming. <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> the grass is, oh my gosh, the grass is deeper than the dogs. Right up. Molly, come on. Come on. Come on. Ooh. <laughs> Don't put her down there because she's got claws and she'll rip it. Yeah. Gabby just called her. She climbed up the ladder. Like that's a border collie right there, you guys. Oh, um, a border collie. Uh-oh. It was either a border Here, let me take Come on. <laughs> Love that dog. She's our superstar. So Sam and I are headed out to get dog food. You guys know Daisy, our Dalmatian. Dalmatians have certain food issues, so we can only give her certain foods, and the only place we can get the food is at Costco. So we're headed to Costco to get some food for her. I wanted to tell you guys something that happened yesterday at the barn. I was talking to the barn owners. I was talking to the barn owner, and she was telling me that she loves Storm, and I was like, oh, I love Storm too and she said that he's the leader which I suspected and that she loves to go out there and lead him in because when she leads him in he's always a perfect gentleman walks perfectly such good ground manners and all the horses the rest of the horses walk quietly and calmly behind him and so it's just like a nice relaxing safe situation and when your barn owner loves your horse you know you've got a good horse and I told her, I was telling her about how like he is the leader of our herd and he takes his job seriously and I love that about him. It's something that I really love about him. And I just wanted to tell you guys that. Did you know that, Sam? That she said that to me? Look at this thing. Go under! Go under! I want to go under. No way. Can't do this thing. That would be scary. But anyway, I thought that was so sweet and so kind and I love when people say stuff like that. And it just was, I don't know, reaffirming to me. Like, I just love having him. I just love that he's a part of our life. And it just makes me remember how much life is not a coincidence, how God brings the right people and the right animals and the right situations into your life when you need them. And I'm so grateful for Storm. My favorite thing that they have at Costco are these ginormous bags of carrots. We always get them. Who loves ginger beer? I've know. never had it. Is it actual beer or is it like Harry Potter beer? Sam wants to get new stuffies for the dog. They literally lasted a good few months, like four months. Okay. 20 bucks usually. All right. You want to get them? Uh, yeah. All right. For our three pooches. Monkey! 
fox or raccoon? I'm a fox. Fox. So Sophie chose fox. Daisy's getting a fox. Can Poor I Gabby. Yep. I want a raccoon. She wants the raccoon. He's cute. He's cute. Okay, give it to her. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Squeak it. Wait. Bottom. <laughs> now it's yours, Daisy. Here you go, my guy. There's a toy. <laughs> right to her cage. That's where she takes all her special toys. That's where she mm -hmm. takes everybody's toy. You like it? Bro. Molly, which one? Daisy wants them all. Get it, Molly, get which it, one? Get oh, it, she get wants it. the fox. Oh. <laughs> Daisy <laughs> wants the monkey, do. Just go back to her cage. <laughs> back to her cage. Oh, she really, she really wanted the fox. She's a fox catcher. I was going to the fox. Were you? Oh, good. I'm like, oh, the raccoon. Poor Ruby. Ruby, yours is gone downstairs. Let's go. Somebody was questioning us about uh, Ruby and her mats. And just so you guys know, she doesn't have any mats. There's not a mat in She's her body. Really a little bit fluffy. And she is already booked. She's been booked for the last week or so uh, for the groomers. But not a single mat anywhere, you right? Me for my dog. <laughs> She loves it. Molly, get your toys. Molly. So if this is going to be a trigger for you guys, I want you to probably skip ahead. We're going to end today's video. But before we do, I wanted to uh, tell you guys what happened to one of our friends. Um, one of our good friends, Alina. Her horse passed away this morning, and it was awful. He, They found him in the field, and he had an aneurysm. The vet thinks that he had an aneurysm. What's an aneurysm? An aneurysm, an aneurysm is when, like, a blood vessel bursts mm -hmm. in your brain. That's sad. Yeah, it is so sad, you guys. But anyway, I just wanted to say we're praying for you, Alina, and I know that he's in a much better place, and I'm so sorry that that happened to you. We know exactly how you feel, exactly how it feels to lose a beloved horse in a field like that. We love you, and we're praying for you. Sorry, Alina. Uh, that is it for today's video. If I'm covered in dirt, it's because I was working on the pool, trying to clean it out, and doing some planting. Um, anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?